and welcome back everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube all right trial number two now for our expedition the next next expedition uh we went teemo the first time we got our five wins um, but we need to get seven so we can get a enough shards so we can get enough shards to be able to uh, join the next one tomorrow uh, we're building up our collection right now we're going to be playing some ranked matches after this we're going to be playing our spider aggro deck in ranked um, which i guess i could put up over here spider aggro so we're going to play in ranked after this but first let's try to uh, win some sweet stuff so here we go let's let's get our seven wins so we're going through the expedition which is like drafting Ooh, we got some good ones. Ooh, we got some good ones. These are all good. I I love Zed. Zed is awesome. But Elise is really cool too. But you really have to get like the spiders. And I feel like that could be maybe difficult. They give you okay, they give you the arachnid horror, which is good. Phantom Prankster. It's kind of average. So Zed comes with Usari, which is a strong card of four three with Oh, um, Overwhelm? No. Challenger. Challenger and Elusive. And then a 2-mana 1-2. Two. When I'm summoned, summon a, an, another one with my stats. Okay, so you just get two 1-2s, but if you have anything that pumps them up to be bigger, then you get bigger ones. Um, yeah, you get to... Yeah, that's... Yep, if y'all are watching in chat, you get to vote in chat right now. Um, and then Darius is definitely strong. The Elixir, Elixir might, I kind of want to do one of these, like the two mana or three mana one. <clears throat> All right. So it looks like we got six votes for discipline, three votes for arachnophobia and only one for the Noxian might. What champs have we tried so far? Um, we tried a lot of them, but mostly in like the um, Shadow Isles, Noxious, and uh, Demacia um, regions. Mostly those ones. I, this is Noxious. Sorry, Noxious. Yeah. So, okay. So, y'all, tell me. Tell me what about spiders in in limited? Is it easy to like get a whole bunch of spiders, or is that really difficult to get a lot of spiders? What do y'all think of spiders in limited? Because Elise is super powerful, and like just spiders in general. Like you know, we're gonna be playing a spider aggro deck later. Maybe we go some somewhere else because we're gonna be playing spider aggro. If you select Elise, it'll automatically give you a bunch. Okay. The votes are kind of leveling out now. Seven and six. Seven, six, three. Um, have have y'all had some good experiences with spiders in Limited? Okay, if you pick her, they'll offer you a lot. It's not too hard, but they clog your board with low power stuff. That is true, they do. That is what they do. Zed's cool too, though. I'm gonna, let's take Zed. Let's take Zed. This Usari card's really good. Yeah, I think we should, we'll take Zed. I'm running a draft with a lot of spiders slash miss rates and it's broken, but another time I wasn't so lucky. And then another person says, I'm not a fan of Elise Unlimited because people are trying to draft big bodies that make her useless after a few turns. All right, so we'll we'll try Zed because we're gonna be playing spiders in a little bit anyway. So we'll we'll kind of branch out a little bit. All right, so we can pair Zed with. We we don't have another one of the same, the same uh, region, so we either have Thresh, with the box, so Thresh is a three six that needs to see six units die, oh, but also has Challenger. And six of any units, not not just yours. The box deal three to each enemy that was summoned to this round. Wow, that is pretty strong. Um, and a three seven life steal. Eh, that's not very strong. I don't really like Draven that much. 
Not huge on Draven. So Ash, 5-3, attack, Frostbite the strongest enemy. Uh, you Frostbite 5 plus enemies, then create a crystal, crystal Arrow next round. So that, yeah, so Ash doesn't need to be in play to see those. And then you create a, what, a Crystal Arrow? Two mana, Frostbite an enemy, then Frostbite enemies with three or less health. Draw one. Dang, that's pretty good. Oh, move the vote buttons? I don't I don't know if I I don't think I can. I don't I don't know how to. If if I can move the vote buttons, I I can't. I don't know how to. So 5-3 start of the round frostbite the strongest enemy. What happens if you have like two of these things, frostbite the strongest, then frostbite the strongest? Oh, I guess I guess they'll yeah, they'd frostbite different things, I guess. Oh, it's only attacking. And that's start of the round. I kind of want to take Ash because I've never played I've never played Ash or Thresh. I want you know, so gonna, we're gonna be taking one that I've never played before. I've never played Ash or Thresh. Um this is So this is Ionia. Is there one of these that pair better with Ionia? Either the Shadow Isles or Freljord? Rhyme Tusk just runs away with games. That does seem like it would run away with games. Rhyme Tusk is a bomb. All right, the Ash. Yeah, okay, it looks like everybody voted for Ash. So that, that makes that easy. Okay. All right, so now Synergy Pick. So we're not taking this last one. So we're going to take either the Rhyme Fang Wolf. When I strike as you... Yeah, like that wolf's pretty strong. Uh, Catalyst of Aeons. Get an empty mana gem and heal your Nexus 3. I think that card's kind of overrated. For 5 mana, it's a lot of mana for that thing. Green Glade Elder. When I'm summoned, grant allies in hand. Plus 1, plus 1. And Will of Ionia, Recall of Unit. I, I kind of like this one. Kind of like them both. I like the wolf. This card's not bad either, giving everything in hand plus one plus one, but you have to play a lot of stuff in hand. Um, we already got two five drops. This would be another five drop that I don't love. I think I'm thinking the middle one because I just don't like this is my least favorite of the four cards. Okay, so you're saying like the wolf is really good and it's OP, but then we have to take this this crappy card. And the wolf's really good synergy. It is really good synergy, clearing up stuff for Zed and Ash also. All right, well I'm I'm fine with taking it then. The votes are basically split. We just got to get this crappy Catalyst of Aeons card. Those cards aren't like spectacular, so I guess I guess it's probably best just to take the best card. All right, we'll just take the best card. All right, well, we're not taking this one. I don't want that. And I mean, those are kind of decent cards, but they're the wrong region. So what do we got over here? We got a one drop when I'm summoned, give me elusive this round, and a two drop when I'm summoned, summon another one of my stats. I like, I like taking the one drop and the two drop. So that this wolf is an auto auto three X. Makes sense. Um, I think I want to take the one drop, two drop. Everybody go with that. Yep, all the votes are for that. Yeah, I know, I know what you meant. The the rhyme thing, wolf, the other wolf. All right, so now now we got uh, three good choices. So we got the rhyme tusk shaman. Another one of these. Another you know great card though. And Ice Veil Archer, play Frostbite Enemy. So Zephyr Sage, play, create an exact copy of a card in hand. So basically you just draw another card of something else that's in hand and a Glean Gate Glean. Hmm. Try that again. Green Glade Elder. 
or the Green Glade Elder in a Shadow Sift. Fast, recall an ally to summon a Living Shadow in its place. And so the Living Shadows are like three twos, basically. So it's kind of cool like in, in combat whenever they think they're blocking something else and then you put a 3-2 in, in place of it. I want to go with my choices. I'm picking the coolest artwork. All right, looks like everybody's saying this one, the Rhyme Tusk Shaman. All right. We got the Keeper of Masks. It's fine. A Shadow Assassin, good card. Good card, an elusive creature that also has summon draw one. We have the Jeweled Protector. Card that I don't think is that great, honestly. And we already got some other five drops. I don't love it. And a Green Glade Elder, which is fine. Or Counterfeit Copies. No, we're not doing this last one. So I guess it's this. I guess we're doing this one. Yeah, we're probably doing this one with the Shadow Assassin. What's up, Art Arch Dust Bunny? Favorite stream playing favorite game. What's up? Oh yeah, everybody vote for this. Okay. All right, entreat. Draw a champion. I don't really like that card. Flash freeze. Which is a a pretty decent card, but I don't really like entreat. We got solitary monk. Four three mana four three elusive. When I'm summoned, recall all other allies. So you basically want to play it on an empty board. Um, and another one of these things, which I, I don't really love, or a solitary mark, monk, and a sparring student. A sparring student's kind of cool. I'm thinking either the first one or the last one. I think sparring student's better than the highwayman when we already have two highwaymans, so we can just eliminate that one. So it's either the first one or the last one. I guess this is draw a champion. Actually, that's, maybe that's not that bad. Never mind, that's not that bad. Draw a champion. It's not just like draw a card. You get to always draw Zed or Ash. Never mind, that's pretty good. And then we got the other Frostbite thing. Oh yeah, so everybody vote for this, okay. Yeah, it's a, it's basically a tutor. You draw one of your two champions. Yeah, no, yeah, we've been exploring some of the game already, Bunny. Yeah, this is, uh, this is like day three of me playing. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Check out, uh, check out, of course, the YouTube channel, as you know, our, our Just Bunny, you know, we've played the last two days. Yesterday, we had tons of wins. We did our first expeditions, got two seven-win expeditions for our very first ones. Um, we only got four wins last time, so we got to, or five wins last time, so we got to get seven this time. All right, so harsh wins, frostbite two enemies, and a bull, bull El Nuck. Kinko... Wayfinder, I mean, ooh, kinku. Wayfinder, Allegiance, summon two one-cost allies from our deck. Okay, and then a Life Blade. Or Entreat, draw a champion, and Omen Hawk. Oh. So probably my favorite card out of all of them is honestly Omen Hawk. He said Harsh is so good. Frostbiting two enemies. Oh, because it's instant speed. Yeah, because it's burst, so it's instant speed. In combat, you just turn two things into zero power. Wow, this is an even vote across the board. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, I don't like the second entreat, right? Yeah, because if you just if you just have a chance... Like, this could just be a complete dead card. Can we just take the Harsh Winds and the Omen Hawk? All right, so we'll take this because we'll take this one because, yeah, that intrigue is pretty rough. And you think middle? I guess middle does have the most votes. Really, these two four drops? I don't feel like this card's very special. And this, like, we'd have to have extra one drops, and I don't really feel like either of those cards are that special. They're both just two, they're very under under powered of like two threes. 
No, I, I think, yeah, I don't really want either of those. I, I think, I think it's one of these two. We'll take the, take the harsh winds. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the harsh winds. All right, Starlet Steer, Seer, whenever you cast a spell, grant the top ally in your deck plus one, plus one. Catalyst of Aeons. I don't really don't want... Do we already have a Catalyst of Aeons? Ugh, we do. All right, well, I really don't want that, so we're not going to take that. We got Inspiring Mentor. Good card. Will of Ionia, Recall Unit. Not too bad, so, okay, that's fine. Brittle Steel, Frostbite Enemy with three or less. I like that. And then just another Elmec. Um... I think we want to do. I think I want to do this middle one. Discipline. Yep, heal or bone the middle one. There's like one card that says like whenever you play it, you get all of the Elnux in the top like ten cards of your library. You just put them into play. So taking Elnux in case you have that is pretty sweet. All right, so we got a couple of Frostbites here. Frostbite an enemy with three or less, and just Frostbite an enemy. So we got two Frostbite cards. An elixir and a bull. Um, death mark. Remove ephemeral from an ally and to grant it to an enemy. That is sweet. But of course, we have basically the only way we can play this is we need ephemeral on an ally, and the only one that we have is the Zed attacking that makes the clone. And then when I'm summoned, give other allies plus one plus zero this round. Hmm. All right, everybody's voting on the left. Just take the frostbite stuff. I don't know if like this much frostbite is like. I wonder if we're. I think we're kind of running into deal four to an enemy unless it has zero power. Otherwise, frostbite it. I think we may have just too much frostbite. When I'm someone, give me elusive and you sorry. I like. Okay, I like this one. I like Inspiring Mentor, and I kind of like the Green Glade, Green Glade Elder. I kind of want one Green Glade Elder in the deck. Give our other allies plus one, plus one. We need. I think we do kind of need more units. Like I think, I think we're doing just fine on spells. I do want more units, so I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one of these other two. Yeah, I'm gonna take one of these that have the two units. It's either the one drop and the three drop, or the one and the five. Um, stack the elusives. So this is elusive for one round. So then this is always elusive. Yeah, I mean, Usari is just awesome. All right, we'll take that. Oh, everybody voted for the other one. Whoops. All right, so the big elusive at the top, the 6-5... Give an ally barrier and life steal this round. That's pretty nice. Stalking Wolf, not a bad card. Alpha, Alpha Wild Claw, not a bad card either. Avalanche, deal two to all units. And Scarthane Stefan, when I survive damage, grab me plus three, plus zero. That deal two to all units could kill a lot of my stuff. That would kill a lot of my stuff. Yeah, we are a bit low on the curve. I think I like this last one. Get the 6-5 elusive and then also have the barrier lifesteal. Like the barrier lifesteal on like a Zed or an Ash seems pretty sweet. Yep, everybody's voting for this one. Um, I, I don't think I'm at level 8 yet for the Demacia. I'm, so I'm going up to level 8 on each one. Dritus, brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Dritus. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to level 8 for the champion capsule, and then I'll switch. All right, we got Brittle Steel Shatter, the Wayfinder Twin Disciplines. 
Solitary monk and sparring student. I think I want the solitary monk sparring student, and that's what everybody voted for. Okay, we got Herald of Spring, two mana, two, two, that you give your supported ally lifesteal, and the snapper that you can either choose if you want it to be a 5 2 or a 2 5. We get Entreat, draw a champion, and they who endure overwhelm when I'm summoned, grab me plus one, plus one for each ally that has died. I really like that they who are, they who endure, but I don't really want another entreat. Or we get the Icefield Archer, play it, frostbite an enemy, and Alpha Wild Claw, seven six overwhelm. I think I want this last column, and all the votes are for the last column. Cool. All right, we get to trade. We can trade a Catalyst of Aeons for a Brittle Steel. I'm all about that trade. Let's see, we can trade a Highwayman for a Will of Ionia. That's not a bad trade either. Or a Keeper of Masks. Trade that for Green Glade Elder. That's not a bad trade either. I would kind of take any of these, but I think I, I really just don't want this Catalyst of Aeons. So I'm going to do this, this trade here. Trade a 5 drop I don't want. Okay. Let's uh, let's see how we do. I don't. I'm not in love with our deck. I'm not in love with our deck at all. We'll see the power of frostbite. Hopefully, it's powerful. Hey Kubo. I don't know. I just kind of feel like our our deck has like some weak stuff in it. I don't know. So we'll see. I don't think I really have in hand buffs for Highwayman. I don't think I took any. I don't remember taking any. Okay, Box says this deck's good. When you play Frostbite, you'll see. So we have. So if I play Highwayman. And then I play this thing and return them. Then I'll have two Highwaymans in hand. So then each Highwayman will make two more. Right? I feel like that's how that works. Shh, quietly. Don't ask how I got it. I don't think I have any of that three mana one one that buffs your hand. Do I? Or maybe I took one of them. You're saying I have two of them? Can you, like, do you, like, does the, does the whatever thing tell tell you, like, the cards in my deck? I don't know if, if you can see the cards in my deck or not. The deck tracker. Catch me if you can. Don't play Ash on board until she's level up. Okay, you thought I picked two, it could be wrong. Okay, I think I maybe picked one, but I remember we passed over it like all the time. That's what are our champions, Ash and Zed. What are they doing? They're making some spooky spiders. Got a lot of spiders over there. Oh no, so it just makes it a brigand with the stats. So no, that's not how this works. Check out. 
feeds me. I don't think I want to just put everything back into my hand, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to just sit back on and not play Ash at all until it levels up. Because, I mean, that could be forever and ever. I only have, like, one Frostbite card. I guess now I have two. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Yeah, exactly. Whenever it attacks, you get to Frostbite the strongest enemy. And so that helps Ash level up. Show me a target. Hiya. So yeah, they just want to get these spiders out of the way, probably, so they can play other things. Summon a Vile Maw. It's a Vile Maw. 6-6 six, six with Fearsome. It's pretty big. we can frostbite it. Summon two spectral riders. Okay. Those are three twos. That's a bull. The time is right. Strike now. Need the target. Hmm. This one's trouble. Just looking out for the public. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, they're eph ephemeral. So I think I'm just gonna take them. So I think we're just gonna take the seven. Seven. And now, like this thing with three or less health, you know, we can frostbite it with that, but. We can just go ahead and go straight to attacks, frostbite their 6 1 with Ash. So we've frostbite. Bit three things. No. Bleh. Killing my ash. I guess I'll do this and just put these back in my hand and then just replay this thing. Heard you're new in the area. 
Hey Sanchez, just trying something else out for now. Trying a new game. And loving it. Really, really liking Legends of Ruterra a bunch. To play me, kill two allies. So it's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, we can just frostbite it. Yep. It does feel like they have some kind of trick. But I guess we'll just let them play their trick. No? No trick. Elusive. Hit the wrong row. My blade grows restless. Hmm. Fast as wind, light as air. Just gonna attack for six in the air. Obviously, I can attack with the four one and try to, you know, trade. But trading with Trindamir is not. Really ideal. Yeah, what he said. I'm going to like harsh winds on their attack. When I'm summoned, revive the strongest allied champion. So they haven't had one that has died yet. Three unleashed spirits. Okay. Get your three little one ones. No, it was not. No, I did not have lethal at all. Last turn. Oh, I meant to, whoops, I meant to block that other, this other O3. Whoops. You'll thank me later. I meant to block that. I was kind of looking at Chad and everything. <laughs> oh well, my bad. I could have, I, you know, I had free blocks on both of them, but. I need my weapon. So this is probably lethal unless they have something, you know, unless they got some spells up their sleeves. It would have been nice if they didn't even have that 7-3 in play and they only had one blocker. can have the two. I'm just going to click OK. All right. Boom. All right. Starting off with a win with our first expedition. 
or I mean it's their second expedition, but starting off with a win for it. GG's. All right, we get a new champion. So we can get another Ash and a Rhyme Fang Wolf and a Stalking Wolf. That sounds pretty strong with all the Frostbite stuff that we have, these Wolves. Or we can get another Zed. Zed's really cool. And a Green Glade Duo, which is a strong card, and a Green Glade Elder. So do I have any of those Green... So I don't have any Green Glade Elders right now. Yeah, I have zero. So that's strong also. Or a Karma. And man, Karma... Then a 2-mana, 3-2 Elusive to play me, recall an ally, and recall a unit. Man, that's strong too, because Karma, every time I play against Karma, like I lose. Like Karma is so strong. Every single, at the end of every turn, you draw, draw a spell every turn. That's so strong. That's just a lot of cards that you can get over, over time. <laughs> so it says go Zed and the next person I don't like Zed too much in Expedition way too many two damage spells and a lot of people say don't pick Karma hmm people are voting for Ash and just keep going with the Frostbite I mean that is like that is kind of like the theme of our deck is all this Frostbite stuff so I guess it's kind of good to just take the cards that go with your your deck I guess with the frostbite theme. So I think we'll do that, even though I like those other two champions kind of more, but just synergy with the other cards in our deck, we'll stay with that. Oh, actually everybody was saying karma. Now people are saying that, that karma would give us good frostbite spells. You know how we get that spell every turn. Hmm. I think I should have gone Karma. So I was thinking like the, the two mana we would get, you know, like one of our champions for like turn two. We like would play this turn one, turn two we'd get a champion, then turn three we'd maybe play that champion. All right, so they are mulliganing. So they got Braum, Vladimir, and Draven. So I could just keep curving out and play the Highwayman instead of playing the Entreat just to draw a champion, because it could just be drawing another Ash. The Highwayman's one of our weaker cards in our deck. I could just curve out, you know, Highwayman, and then Rhymefang Wolf, and then Ash, and then Usari, and just curve out. I think I kind of want to do that. Especially how they play a 2-1. Getting extra 1-2s is good. No, block with that thing. Surprised it made that attack, honestly. Surprised. That we got that trade. Yeah, but you don't... Yeah, it's just draw a champion. I don't get to choose what champion. As far as I know, like, this is just... You draw one of the champions in your deck. So I'd have... It could just be 50-50 shot, whether it's Ash or Zed. Um, if it's, you know, Zed, I would have rather done that and then 
played and then gotten Zed. Oh, wow. Well, we would have got blown out by that thing. Ugh, stop drawing these highwaymen. Reporting in. We ought to set it on fire. A true Felyorian welcome. Could go Ash. I'm going to go. I'll double spell, play that, and the Entreat. Yeah, explains why they attacked the 2-1 for sure. I should have played this first and granted the 5-3. So Vladimir attack for each other attacking, deal one to it and one to the enemy nexus. Leaping into action. Wait. Let's get this thing out here too. You'll thank me later. We were gonna set it on fire. As the arrow flies. So we can frostbite that thing. This other thing can't block. My sweet little slave. All right, well, they're just trading. Trade ch we trade champions and also get another spell. So, you know, we get a two for one plus we get their champion. So that's not, not the worst trade. The world awaits. Forward. Give my supported ally a quick attack. Hmm. Yeah, we could frostbite trade with Zed, but I don't love that option. I'm just going to just try to just block this thing and just take this three. I think we can do better with frostbite than just trade with these little things. I think it's a more powerful card than that. And that's fine. Trading the little 3 1 <clears throat> for that trick. Um, but I do want to play Zed now. Love we'll Zed with Frostbite. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know Har Harbinger. I don't know. I haven't. I don't have like a specific. Um, time that I'm thinking of. Mine. 
No, I don't I don't want them to block that. I just don't even want Yeah, let's just go to attacks. Yeah, because that card yeah, that card just heals. I just I didn't really want it to block Zed, but kinda determined just no, we'll just Bowls, aren't you? For the Empire. <clears throat> so frostbite keep keep Zed alive. Put them down to one. So close. Only it's so close. It's kind of the downside of the solitary monk, though. We can't really just play it and bounce all this stuff to, to our hand. So feeling pretty good about this one. I'll do better this time. Stay out of my way. Show them the might of Noxus. Okay, ready. So I'm at sixteen. I could take ten. This is part of the trick. Just make this block, I take ten. 10. What if they don't have a plus 6? And they can get, get 1 plus 1 here. Yeah, they could have the plus 8 plus 4. That thing costs 8 mana though, right? And they have 7. Pretty sure the plus 8 plus 4 costs 8. So I think we're good here, because this is only 10, we're at 16. So I think we're good. Oh, they can play like the, the two creatures each get plus two plus zero. This deal two, then rally. Uh, Jeez. I mean, like so this thing has trample Oh you're in for it But everything has to block This one will do Cut the breath Yeah I mean, we just have to block across the board You have to just jump out I, mean, I guess we don't have to technically block this. No, because then the trample damage, yeah, we do. So, yeah, we have to just jump block out. Then we just got to hope this elusive. Hopefully, they don't have anything for this elusive creature. Time for the fight. Why would you even give that thing a spinning axe? The order. I walk my path alone. I'm all in on this monk. I need no weapon. 
The elusive monk. Does it get there? We're all in. That doesn't help. Boom. The elusive monk giving us the elusive victory. Wow, that was really close. This game's just sweet. Just so many good close games like that. And we're 2-0. All right, so we can trade the mentor for an Ice Veil Archer. I don't know. I like that mentor. We can trade a Highwayman for a Stalking Wolf. I think I like that trade. The Highwaymen aren't, aren't very good. Or we can trade an Entreat for a Harsh Winds. Ooh, that's a good trade, too. Harsh Winds is super strong. Okay, I think we do the last one. I think we just get another Harsh Winds. A real strong card for an Entreat, which Entreat's, you know, whatever. But, yeah. Let's just check the votes. What'd y'all vote on? Where are these votes at? There they are. Oh, y'all wanted to do the middle one. Y'all want me to get another wolf? Y'all voted for the middle one. Trade Because the highwayman is pretty weak. Y'all want me to get another one of these stalking wolves? Yeah, because Entreat's mediocre at best, and the Harsh Wings wins is really strong. Okay, y'all, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do that. I'm going to do it. All right, two. No, we're not going to get rid of Harsh Winds. Like, we just got a new Harsh Winds. <clears throat> All right, so they have a Lucian, a Garen, and an Ezreal. Lucian's, Lucian's awesome. Just get rid of the five and six mana cards for now. trade with that thing. I don't want that to have Challenger and kill something else. It's just whether we're trading with the 1-1 one, one, or the 2-1. But the 1-1, one, one, of course, can grow. Um... Let's grow the Ash. The wrong row. I could, you know, could just grow this thing to be a 3-2, which isn't bad. We, we have, like, a good amount of wolves already, though. Like, we have at least three, maybe four wolves total. Already. <laughs> yeah, Mystic Shots are sweet, though. Block, what are you doing? Got Lucian out of here. That's big time. Because Lucian is good. Uh... This is last breath. Yeah, make a big spell. I will unite the failure. Show you how it's done. 
Attack. You'll go no farther. That's not good. They blocked that thing really fast. That means they probably have a way to kill my Ash. Like two damage. It's unfortunate. Yep, Mystic Shot. Well, Ash still was a two for one. We got rid of two cards. But, yeah, it's unfortunate. So obviously I can use the Frostbite to kill this thing. I don't think I need to. Don't think we need to do that. I think we can get better value out of our frostbite later. Hmm. Not and ready. Jump wops. I'm kind of wasting a lot of mana. Alright, not wasting nearly as much now. Will Ash have leveled up yet? No! Four out of five. There's a really awesome Frostbite mid-range deck floating around in ranked at the moment. It's a nice change from the constant elusive the and fearsome. Six, six, Cythria, the bold. What do they have? They have oh, two mushroom clouds in hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy they didn't attack. We're going to try to get some more elusives in the air. No, don't kill a unit. Don't kill a unit. See the world through new eyes. So five damage in the air. Yeah, this is expedition. Yep. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's a dip. Yeah, new expedition. What did they just do? What just happened? Oh, mystic shot. These things all are fearsome now?
if it's a fight they want. Kinku hold fast. Kinku still rise. Save the homestead. All right, we're going to bounce these things back to our hand. And silence is the breeze. And then we're going to. We're gonna play this thing and give this three two plus one plus ones, and now it'll be a four three, so it can uh, take this Sith three of the bold. Or like you know, we can trade with that. Deal one to all enemy units. All right. This just uses my mana better to play you. Sorry first though. I'll just do that. Start of a round, Frostbite, the strongest enemy. That's not bad. Take a look at this. All right, so we're just gonna attack with everything. We're gonna force the six four to block the four three, and try to get eight damage in the air. They're down to three. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. They're down to three. We got two the lethal elusive ruler. creatures. Ugh. We got one for one puff cap. Ooh, progress the day. Draw three, then reduce all of their costs by one each. Let us settle this with great sensibility. Winter, take you. Yeah, Rhyme Tusk Clutch, that, that was also a clutch draw. Opponent surrendered. All right. We're three and oh. Victory. We have had just really good win rates in just everything we've done with the game, which which kind of shows I think that's a really skill skill testing. Oh man, we get another Ash, Flash Freeze, Rim Rimfang Wolf, or another Zed, Sown Seeds, Usari. Or a Karma, Solitary Monk, and Jeweled Protector. I kind of want Karma more than any of the other champions. But I don't really want Jeweled Protector. And Solitary Monk hasn't... It's been okay for us. It's not been bad, but... Hmm. Maybe I'll just get a second Zed. Because I don't know if I want a third Ash. I don't know, maybe I do want a third Ash. What are what is Ash if you get another one? It just turns into a flash freeze. Maybe I do just want more Ash, more Flash Freeze, more Wolf. Yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, Legends of Terra is sweet. This game's awesome. Yeah, it's true that all yeah, let's just keep let's just keep it going. They kinda get better, you know, because they have to kill Ash. And then once they do, if we have a backup, that's good. So, yeah, let's just get another one. Yeah, y'all are saying third Ash, definitely. Hmm. Just a weird hand. But 
but I don't, I don't hate it. I'm just gonna keep it. It's like I don't love it, but I don't Where's hate it. Quietly. Got what I came for. Okay. All right. Well, we just want to trade, of course. We'll trade our two one for their three two. Now we're not really getting value out of the the two three right now, but we'll just play it because we can pick it up and get value out of it again later. Especially if we get to like trade with like a you know kill like a two two or something, lower the toughness, and then put it back into our hand. Follow my lead. So yeah, the mulligan system is just each card, you get to just mulligan each card one time. So like, you just choose card by card instead of like the entire hand. So like if you get five and six drops in your opening hand, you get to just send them back because you don't, you know, you don't want five and six drops in your opener. Gatsby, tier three sub. Y'all get some hype in the chat for Gapsy. Gas for Gatsby and that tier three sub. Thank you so much, Gatsby. I really appreciate that. Um, what we got? We got our three mana. We're just gonna pass. Glory unrelenting. No. Uh, yeah. Go and block. Why, I wonder why do they want to do that? They just sacrificed their 2-1. Which I'm all about. I, walk my path alone. I got no value for that. No value. Alright. Usually we just go to attack first, but we got some elusives. You know, like we're playing another elusive, and then we're going to play this thing to give these plus one, plus one, or plus one, plus zero. Yeah, that was the worst possible life. attack. <laughs> Best for me. Nope, you stay back. All right, we got eight in the air. Yeah, Gatsby, it does feel great to be back in DFW, and you have new house. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, it's so... a... Life's going good. Who gets tossed? Support gives... Oh, yeah, give that thing plus three, plus zero, and overwhelm. So I have six mana. Need double flash freeze. Probably. Um, Defiant resist. Kinku holds fast. All right, we're gonna frostbite. Flash, frostbite that thing. Frostbite this thing. So we kill that and I'll make that just one toughness so that like my two drops and everything can kind of trade with it. Go Ash, go! Another one of those. Uh, 
All right, we're attacking out. Oh uh, darn! They got they got to play another creature, but oh well. All right, attack out. Flash freeze that thing. Frostbite, frostbite that thing. Yeah, they just trade. Trade five threes. Probably gonna want to do some other blocking. So they're at six. Yeah, back's kind of going like this. This is this is where it's going to be good to have the the standing desk. I can move up, move and kind of stand up for a little bit. Getting that that standing desk tomorrow. Problem is, it's being delivered between three and five. So basically, like, you know, now it's like going to be delivered during my stream. Yeah, that's that's true that yeah, we could have saved mana for possible combat tricks, but I did like getting like those extra one twos in play. You know, because you know, we played all that stuff and then attacked them. But no, you're right that with possible combat tricks does make attacking and blocking more difficult. Speaking of possible combat combat tricks, definitely feels like something here. Probably you know like a plus three, plus zero kind of thing. And I think I'm going to let them do that And on my 7-6. I'm just going to let them do that. Yeah, like a back-to-back. -back. Could be that. Could be like the plus three, plus zero, and, uh, and a shield. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so no, it's back-to-back, -back, so they give them... Both plus three, plus three, so we're still just trading here. Avenge me. I am the blade in the darkness. Vanguard! Look what you've become. So I'm letting them play other stuff, but we have we're just playing some really good attackers. Charged up and ready to go. I need no weapon. All right, let's just go. You can't outrun me. <laughs> it's a cannon, not a shield. Still got him. Whoa. All right. I was I was skeptical about our expedition before, but we are crushing it. We are four and zero. Oh. We gotta get to that seven wins though. GG's. All right, we get to trade. So we can trade the Blade Scout for an Entreat? No. We could trade the Keeper of Masks for a Will of Iona, Ionia? Meh, maybe, I don't know. Or trade the Mentor for a Shatter? For a shatter? Nah, I don't really like that. Yeah, I don't really like that. Um, I think I may just keep the Keeper of Masks. Yeah, Keeper of Masks has been just fine. Four mana for Unsummon is so much mana. We already got one. 
I think I just kind of skip all these trades, honestly. Definitely not doing the first trade. I don't think I want to do that second trade either. And then this third one. No, I'm just skipping it. That's unfortunate that you get no, get no value out of the trade. It's unfortunate. We don't get to, don't have any good trade there. I don't really want any of these, honestly. Not to start with. I mean, Flash Freeze is fine, but I want to try to get the creatures and stuff. There we go. Try to get those early. Go, Blade Scout. Go get them. So Tuesday's the new big patch. Yeah, somebody said they do, they're doing patches twice a month. I don't love that. It makes it makes investing in wild cards really tough if things are changing so much. There you go. Thank you so much, Bunny. Just got Amazon Prime, so I can hang out in the, for the long haul. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. That's right. Yeah, if you got Amazon Prime, link that up to your Twitch account. Then you get Twitch Prime and you get to sub for free. Thanks, Bunny. I appreciate that. All right, so we got two mana. They got a 2 1, I got a 2 1. We just grab a couple 1 2s. Oh, I don't have the attack token. Oh, whatever. Actually, let's let's bump up the Highwayman to be 2 3s with this thing. The balance patch is. Okay, so the balance patch is only once a month. The other patches are for like game management stuff. Mm. No, let's play the two threes first. My friend and I are Yeah, we're in our second expedition. Don't blink. We're four and in this one. So that's, just, that's not a very good attack. Sure, boss. Hmm. Making the chump block. Watch and learn. Ezreal is going to be able to get them some Mystic Shots. Charge. I didn't want them to like Mystic Shot my Ash and like have like a second Mystic Shot for Ash. So I just passed first because they were definitely playing, they are definitely playing it. Cool, Bach. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking too. No. Well, that works. All right, you sorry. Ezreal, what do you think of getting those mystic shots and killing my creatures? You sorry? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Mine. So of course the challenger. Please, I have connections. 
Counterattacks, we can force them to block. Deal two to this thing. Alright, so they just trade. Alright, so we're down to like we both have a 1-1. One, one. We're up, we have four more life. We have an extra card in hand. Two, three, elusive. Seven, six. Seven, six, trampler. Hey, Escoria. How are you doing? Yeah, I want to play Zed first. We have nine mana. I would still be able to have harsh winds. Okay, yeah, we'll play Zed first. You know, usually you just want to go do attacks before they can play other creatures. Is it playing Magic? Yeah, Magic's a great game too. <laughs> Definitely have nothing against Magic. But Rune Terror has been so much fun. Yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it. What's up, Ren Flares? Bleh. Vengeance. Demo. I don't really have a great <clears throat> don't really have a great play this turn to be honest. I mean I guess I'm just gonna frostbite this thing. Maybe I should have done that also before attackers, but I mean I liked having access to that harsh winds in combat if we needed it for some reason. Yeah, they just go straight to attacks. Um, how many puff caps do I have? Zero right now. We'll just we'll just let this happen. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know. Red flares, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing good today. But do you, uh, Scar, do you think this? game do you think this game fixes the problems or downsides of magic better or more fair in any way yeah definitely a lot more fair um you don't have just three then two then one are you kidding me uh that's such that is such a killer we are we just got destroyed yeah i just got destroyed Wow, what a killer. Um anyway, yeah, you don't you don't have like the non games like where where you know people get mana screwed and stuff, like that doesn't happen. You don't have the if you're on the play you have a big advantage. Like that's not a thing either. All the games are like really close in skill testing and stuff. Like it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that card was a complete blowout, though. It's going to be tough to make it up from that. My, my opponent is just crushing me. Just all this removal and these stupid frostbites are doing nothing. Kakashi, 10 months. Legends of Ruterra is awesome. Um, Ash is only... I've only had one level up with Ash. Like, we need four more Frostbites.
Thanks, Kakashi. Seven puff caps. You're a Teemo player? Yeah, we we did Teemo. Uh, our last expedition was a Teemo expedition, and that was a lot of fun. The removal that they've had has been awesome. They've had so much removal. No, I've never played Gwent. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Yeah, I mean, I surrender. That card is awesome. The deal three, deal two, deal one. All right, so that's so we got a loss in our draft. Uh, we can't lose again. So we can trade one of these highwaymen for a she who wanders. Play. Obliterate all followers with four or less power in play and hands. That is intense. Or we can trade a blade scout for a jeweled protector. Or we can trade an archer for a yawn wind chaser. I think I want to do this last one. This place done to enemies. Seven mana, six, six, done to enemies. Yeah, Yon seems awesome. I'm gonna get this Yon. At least we get to at least we actually got a trade this time. So Heimerlux or Karma are the biggest, coolest decks. Yeah, I haven't I haven't really got into metagame, metagame decks yet. You know, like, uh, I'm out of iron now. We're in, we just started in bronze because this is only my third day playing. But, you know, I haven't spent any money on the game yet. But, so we haven't really seen metagame decks yet. Like, we played against them a little bit, but not much. Uh, definitely getting rid of this and rid of this. Well, not definitely that, but yeah, we'll get rid of them. Played a few dozen games of Heimer Lux and I never end up playing Lux. They'll never see me coming. Down from the trees. So I could have made the stalking wolf a four three. I kind of want to make one of these Rhyme Fang Wolves a 4-3, though, instead. So I'll just play, like, the one drop this next turn, bank the one mana, give this a, make this a 4-3. Okay. I mean, I guess I could just play the 3-2 and then just eat their thing, their one drop. Yeah, I'll just do that. And then we, we can still play a three drop and then turn four, we can play mentor plus three drop. Sure. Could have worked out to 
just drop this thing right away. But I kind of want to play this mentor, make make this thing a 5-4. Actually, now I want to make this thing a 5-4. And I can pick up this thing again. So I can refresh it at being a 3-2. I can give, pick up this thing again to make it elusive. With being, you know, with with just having like kind of like the starting cards and stuff, but you know, like we've we've gotten some upgrades and everything, but still, I think my best deck is probably the Spider Aggro that we're going to play in ranked after this. So we got the 5 4 flyer. So, uh, 5 mana. What do they got? The power. You sorry. Kind of guessing they're going to block. Yeah, I was guessing they're going to block there. And so we're going to frostbite this thing. And we'll just trade our wolf for their 5-1 because we don't I don't want them to be able to have the 5-1 kill my 5-4. Um yeah, Let's make this Imperion even bigger. Even bigger elusive creatures. That was a good turn for us. That was a good turn. Oh, we got the bull. I forgot about the bull. Ugh, forgot about that bull. Is a leaf's only purpose? Okay, so Tuesdays is the first one. All right. I knew there was a, a patch on Tuesday. People were saying that. I didn't know that was the first one. All right. Yasuo, 4-3, whenever you stun or recall. So it's just a 4-3 quick attack for right now. Come back and spend the night. I'm gonna bank this mana. I face my fate. Your turn. I 
I could have just you know used the six mana thing basically to kill that because they were definitely gonna attack there and then I then I frostbite it and block. That's a you know that's just a lot of mana for that. Interesting. Sneaky. Ooh, they're gonna use a trick. Nice. Wait, swap two allies and give them both both barriers. Wait, what did that card do? If we swapped, shouldn't this thing be blocked? I guess that that thing's just not blocking. Okay, so they didn't block. So we used an expensive six mana spell, but we we traded with their creature and their um, <clears throat> traded with their creature and their trick. Ooh, okay. All right, we got a couple of tricks here. I like it. So six mana, four, four, and they get to draw a card. Let's see what other tricks they may have. Oh, maybe I shouldn't pass, because maybe they just don't attack. And then I just waste all this mana. Oh, but I already passed. I guess I should have just played the 7-6. I'm not going to get another turn unless they play something. Okay, good. They played something. Wait. Wait. Oh, whenever it's you stun something, you deal two damage to it? Oh, okay. Okay, Kakashi, you got a big day tomorrow? All right, yeah, hey, best of luck. Got a show coming up? All right. Yeah, best of luck, man. Thanks for popping in. They have to have just a trick then, right? Attack. I don't want to give them the opportunity to play more creatures by me playing spells. Uh oh. I don't know what this is about, but I don't like it. Okay, they're stunning the same enemy twice. Now, if I. Yeah, I just want to bounce. I just want to bounce there, 
Oh, they're stunning both elusives? Oh. I thought they were bounced. I thought they were stunning the same thing. To do the two damage to it twice. I go where the road takes me. I'm wrong. We call three enemies? Ugh, that card is so good. Might not have wings. That card is so good. Destiny They're going to need instants that, you know, stun and recall stuff again. <clears throat> Going for the win. Boom. All right, big victory there. Big victory there. Getting us to five wins now. And resetting, because, you know, like, we lost that other one. All right, so we can trade. All right, so we get another trade. So we can trade an archer for a life blade. I don't like that trade. We can trade a sparring student. For a flash freeze, I could see doing that. Or a wolf for a shatter. I don't want to trade the wolf. I think we'll trade, we'll get another flash freeze. Whew. All right, five wins. Let's go. See, such good games, such close games, all the time. Oh, they're saying hi. Hello. Uh, let's just replace them all. Don't really want any of those. Get him, Blade Scout. They'll never see me coming. Confine and oh. down from the trees. This our creature has elusive for the first turn. <clears throat> yeah, nine mana cards. Of course, are really good. Time to get my hat. I'm just going to pass and bank the two spell mana. Alone, we see things. And get this 4 3 out here. Break their spirit and their soul. Attack. Dude. 
Four three elusive for three. Pretty strong. And we got some brittle steels to kind of help protect it. Hey, Dale. Yeah, lots of stuff changing. Yeah, I really like the new plays. Um, yeah, I, I love it here, honestly. Real happy about that. We're in a frostbite. Some enemies. Why can't I target that? Oh, it has too much power? Or too much toughness? Well, that was bad for me playing this 3 2 now. That was bad of me by playing that 3-2. Yeah. Should not have played that. They picked the wrong row. Everything's better with company. Says you. Mm. Tread lightly and strike hard. Yeah, that's my bad. Hold up. I've got your back. Give an ally a barrier. My friend and I are told. Well, that barrier is gone now. I think they're probably going to try to use their 2 1 challenger to kill my 4 1. Oh, they're gonna try to use the three three. Your move. Alright, give another barrier. Alright, I'm just gonna bounce this thing. Times are tough. Looking for this. They got a six cost spell. Nah. And do I want to frostbite this thing? Yeah. Yeah, we'll frostbite that thing too. <laughs> oh, poor opponent. Did all the crying. By my honor, you must die. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> We're, of course, just going to... Yeah, that thing's not elusive. Oh, it has Challenger, though. We're just going to take this. Deal 10. Everything I've worked for. And they... I can Frostbite this. 
I can frostbite that thing. Who does not know the name Laurent? Faster than my arrow? I think not. I can still do the harsh winds and double. Double frostbite. They're really challenging us. All these challengers. Don't know their plan for the 6 5. Don't know what their plan for that thing was supposed to be. Yeah, there they go. They have to kill the 6 5. Should have just blocked the five with the one one and given them a spell. No, I shouldn't give them a spell. But it surrendered. Yeah, your first seven wins with Ash. Okay. Well, we are at six and one. All right, this is the big one. Get the seven win so we can, uh, you know, get enough shards to pay for another one for tomorrow. And we only get one shot at it. It's final boss time. It is final boss time. All right, what are we gonna do? Keeper of the Mask or this thing? What is this? Three, four mana, three, three, overwhelm, allegiance. Grant the top unit in our deck plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. Well, we have 21 of those, of those, and then we'd be taking out another one to so 22. So that's a pretty good chance of hitting that's a good trade i think we're gonna trade a Bl blade scout for a stand united swap two allies give them barrier that card seems pretty strong or we can tra trade a mentor for another wolf i kind of think we're good on wolves i kind of want to do the first one no maybe not i mean i guess that is just kind of like a four mana three three overwhelm and if it doesn't that is kind of average especially if it doesn't hit with the allegiance Stand United can be a, a crazy trick, but the Blade Scouts have been good for us. That is true, that we have been basically winning with elusives. We don't really need to overwhelm with the elusives. I like this mentor. We already have a bunch of these. We already have three of these. I don't really. I'd rather have the one mentor over the fourth Rhyme Fang Wolf. So, do you want to trade one of our two Blade Scouts for a Stand United? This is tough. We got to choose right. They're letting us. They're letting us trade a common for a rare. So it makes me think that we should do it. We're trading a common for a rare. We already have tons of tricks. Maybe we shouldn't get another trick. I'm going to do this top one. I'm going to do the top one. Oh, we get five more trades after this one. Oh, right. But it's still a common for a rare. Two mana for four mana. As far as our curve goes. The potential of this card is pretty huge. 
I'm going to I'm going to go for the upside. All right, next trade a highwayman for a stand united. Trade a refuge for a wild claw or trade a solitary monk for a rimfang wolf. I'm definitely not doing that last one. This monk's been awesome. And I don't really I don't want to do this one either, honestly. I like that refuge. I don't really love the highwayman, but I just got rid of a two drop. I don't know if I want to get rid of another two drop. But it has it's not a very good two drop. Uh, it's been fine, I guess. What do y'all think of the I'm not doing the these other two. What do y'all think of the first one? Okay, you get a trade for every win and you lose a trade for losses, so huh. This first one you think meh. I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm just basically going for power. Well, now I can trade this Stand United for an Empyreon, which that seems pretty sweet. Yeah, Empyreon's pretty awesome. We already got a lot of Flash Freezes. Five Flash Freezes. Yeah, we don't really need another one. We'll just keep on upgrading that, that card. All right, Brittle Steel for Spirit's Refuge. A Wild Claw for a Usari. Or a Will of Ionia for a Shatter. Definitely, definitely keeping Will of Ionia. I'm not doing that one. I could see playing the Usari instead of the Wild Claw. No, we got two Usaris, one Wild Claw. No, let's not make it three and zero. So do I? would I rather have this one mana Brittle Steel or the four mana Spirit's Refuge? Probably just keep the one drop. I'm going to skip this one. Shadow Assassin for this thing? No. Shadow Assassin's better. We can trade the Wind Chaser for another Outriders. Or we could trade Highwayman for a Rhyme Tusk Shaman. I want to do this last one, but man, we're trading another two drop. But this Shaman's just so much better. We need to do some trade that lowers our curve now, uh, which is not that one. And it's not really this one either. That's definitely not it. I could see trading the Usari for the Ancient Yeti. It, it's supposed to cost seven originally, but end of round reduce the cost by one. Now, how does this work? Does this have to be in your hand? Or is this just like in the deck? So like round two, it costs six. Round three, it costs four. Round always. So it has to be in the hand. OK. That would be really good if it didn't have to be in your hand. But still, we can kind of just hold on to this and get it to be a cheaper thing. This thing always costs five. It's just a five-five overwhelm. Hmm. We can keep the Z. Seems like don't trade. Oh, right. Usari has elusive. Yeah, I'm just going to keep it. All right, skip the trade. All right, final battle. Here we go.
Final battle. Oh! We need our final boss playlist. Gotta get it in the mood. Here we go. Final boss. Three, two, one. Uh oh. Their deck is probably really sweet. Zed and Katarina. I'll just keep the one, two, three, four curve. And we're on the play. Zed Katarita is pretty sweet. Hey, Ox G. Everything's better with company. Says you. They'll never see us coming. I guess I should have waited. I just took an extra point of damage I didn't need to. Could wait till after attackers. My bad. Do not fear the shrouded path. Maybe the opponent's got nothing. All right, yeah, just using a bounce spell. From the trees. I, of course, could could trade with that, but I can trade with that next turn also, so I can just eat this 1-1 one, one and get this 2-1 in. Elusive card. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Never play this. <sighs> Katarina's so good. So good. No one gets in my way. Do, 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 do. They play something big, then I'll just. Um, Tales of our past are seeds for our future. Well, that's not big, but. Frostbite in the one ones, so they don't get to just. Uh, you're new in the area. Uh, they get the two, two, 
Ah, uh, that really hurt. So basically, I didn't want. I shouldn't have played the three one. I didn't want them to be able to use the one one to block, you know, like my two one or three one kind of thing. But that really backfired with the the two threes. Looking for this. I need a flash freeze the Katarina on, on their turn. But do we have six mana? Oh. And so I, okay, it's just another flash freeze. I was going to say I don't get to double spell because I'm obviously not playing the solitary monk. My friend and I are toll collectors. Hmm. Can't, can't double spell. Do not fear the shrouded path. Those pockets look awful heavy. They won't suffer long. It's a fight they want. The time is right. Strike now. No backing down. Um. Two, four, five, six, seven. Chump blocking. Alright, we'll bank this mana. We done. We done four frostbites. So we frostbite another one. Then we transform and create a crystal arrow. That card's pretty sweet. Oh, they're bouncing that thing. Oh, I, I guess. Okay. No going back. Winter is the Freljord's true ruler. Wait, they have... Oh, they get to attack? What is going on? Oh, because this thing rallies. 
Uh, well then, I didn't play this right. I didn't play this right at all. Man. I messed this this whole thing up. Yeah, I really just messed this all up. Um, yeah, I just messed that whole game up like that turn. Definitely learned a lot, but yeah, I should have I should have just cast my other Ash as a Frostbite on their other two three. Not let either of the zero power creatures block. I mean, I guess they would have bounced the Ash, but still. No, we're dead in the air. No, darn. Oh, I didn't see how much experience I got. I clicked on that too fast. We got fifteen hundred. No, the, ex the extension works. It works, Mike. As far as I know. So we got our champion. We only got a thousand shards. So that's a difference. So if we would have won that match, that game, we would have got 3,500 shards. Lose, we get 1,000 shards. Wow, that's a huge difference. All right, so our chest had a wild card, a, that thing, a couple other commons, and then that rare. We've got another 262 shards. And then our champion was a Lux. Uh, Lux isn't even any good. Not even a good champion. Man, what a letdown. Well, we got a lot of experience, and now we got this champion capsule from Demacia. <laughs> we got another Lux? Come on. Oh, we got a Fiora also. So we got two cha we got two champions. That's good, right? Okay, so Lux is supposed to pair with Heimendinger. Lux is good and constructed. Okay. Well, now I have I have three Luxes now because I had one before and we just picked up two more. Senna is a good card. That's a good rare. I like it in a Senna. And the Fiora. Fiora is good. All right, so we can change regions now. So we got the Champion Capsule. So we've done Noxus and Demacia. So yeah, we'll we'll head on over to the Shadow Isles. Okay, so Lux is decent. Okay. All right. So there we go. So there was our um, there was our expedition. Man, yeah, brutal getting the seven wins, not six wins. Oh, man, I'm, and I, I feel bad because I messed up. I, I feel like I could have, you know, played that last turn a whole lot better than what I did, you know, like that last match, like those last couple of turns. Um, yeah, I should have just really kind of paid attention to leveling up Ashmore. Honestly, Ugh. and then and then yeah, the rally. I forgot. Yeah, you know, like I didn't. I didn't think about that, and I didn't think of the rally. I I forgot about that, and that really crushed me. But yeah, we got the double champion, so that was super good. So yeah, usually you only get one, so that, at least we got the double champion. So that was super good. Um. So yeah, we don't have. Oh, so we do have. We still have enough. Perfect. We have just enough for another expedition tomorrow. Five win and a six win. Because we want to do that tomorrow because we can only do three a week because then the, the new week resets um, after that. 
All right, how are we doing on the vault after all that? So we're at level 12. 13 is the highest level, I think, with the vaults. So um, we just need 3,500 more experience by um, by Tuesday. Uh, by one day and 10 hours, so by tomorrow. So that should be just fine. All right, so there we go. There was our uh, second... Um, expedition there with uh going frost style you know going ash and all the frost stuff so yeah it's just a really good learning experience with these expeditions all right so those of y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there leave those comments um you know let me know what you think of the expeditions and everything uh you know what are you doing well with with those expeditions um but uh yeah we're gonna move on to some constructed and some ranked now um so thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.